Hey, what's going on everybody? Got a brand new item for the Kitty X Max 3 3D printer. They just came out with their own camera. So we'll be able to see how our prints are going on our phone or computer, which is very important. You don't have to run up and check if you're worried if a print is failing or anything like that. I believe this was $40 from QD themselves. And I believe it's 1080p so it should be pretty good quality overall. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this, and then we'll go to the slicer and the fluid interface, and I'll show you how the camera looks, and then we'll give it an overall rating. Um, there is already a really good installation video from the manufacturer, so I'll, I'll link that below and save you that boredom of me installing this. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be really straightforward. Pop off like eight screws, plug in the USB, route a couple cables, and then screw down this so it kind of clamps onto a piece of plastic in there and then we should be good to go so pretty excited uh 40 bucks if this is good quality i think almost everybody's going to want to run out and buy it and let me go ahead and get this installed i'll show you where i put it after installed i'll power it up and we will see from there do me a favor guys like this video and subscribe i have a full review coming on this as well as the neptune 4 max and I also have a three-way comparison and review videos coming on the Bamboo Lab P1P, P1S, and the X1C. And I still have the Max 3, which I'm going to wind up selling because there's no point in keeping that. If I have the Max 4, I have a Bamboo Labs AMS to go on to my P1P, so I'm going to have a video installing that as well and just a ton of 3D printing going on here. And if this is something that interests you, definitely subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot of content coming on 3D printing. I've already made enough money selling parts from these that paid for pretty much all the Bamboo Labs completely. So probably another month or so, all of this stuff you see will be already paid for within probably four to six months of owning them all by 3D printing. So anybody can do this. It's a lot of fun, as you can see, I have five printers. I actually have two of these, one more in the box. Um, I'm just making sure it's running right before I take the other one out of the box and use it. Probably wind up buying more Bamboo Lab P1Ps and then P1Ss because they're outstanding. But anyways, back to this video. Let me get this installed and then I'll show you all that stuff in just a little bit. All right guys, super easy to install. You just take off a back plate with eight screws. There's an open USB slot Simply plug it in, route the cables through the back there. As you can see that cable here, I'll do my cable management later. And then it just screws to the top here. And as you can see, it's aimed down perfectly at the bed. So this should be an awesome addition to this awesome printer. Once again, there is gonna be a review on this soon. Um, I had a lot of problems in the beginning owning this printer and they've worked with me and sent me some new parts and it's been almost flawless since. So. There we go. Also have a Wham Bam PX review coming for this very high-end, good, flexible plate. Uh, and, and I'll be showing you some different prints that I do on it as well. So pretty excited to try out this camera. Let me go down to my computer and see if it's simply just plug and play. And I'll tell you what, what else I have to do to get up and running. But I believe it just simply works now. All right, guys, here we have it. That was super, super easy to install. And then connecting it to this was even easier. Literally, all you do after you plug it in and get it powered, you come into this fluid, go over here to settings, click on cameras, and then you just want to click on, there's one called default here, but I just went ahead and named it Cutie, or however you say this name. And all you do is literally click enable and then it will turn it on. It's that easy. There's nothing else you have to set up. It just works amazing. And as you can see, it is getting seven to eight frames per second, which is plenty fine. And if you know, the Bamboo Labs, the P1P and the P1S basically does one frame per second. It might even be worse than that, like half a frame per second. So. For $40, I think this is an absolute no-brainer. 
Once again, simple to install, anybody can do it. If I wasn't recording, I could have had it installed and up here playing within probably five minutes. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, do me a favor, just leave it below and I'll try to answer it for you and or make you a video. And thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, it helps me out a lot. A lot more 3D printing content coming on this channel. Have a great day, I'll see you guys.